Okay, so I just got back from the store. Andrew's outside cutting the grass, so I'm not worried about him hearing me or anything now. I got a first response early result one. And I'm gonna see if that comes up with a faint one. Okay. Now we wait. I'm gonna put it back in here. I need to wait three minutes. I feel like it's not gonna come back positive right now though. Cause like, I don't know, the other ones are still so faint. But then again, I saw some people and their easy at home ones were like super faint and then the first response was darker. So hopefully that's the case. That would be so cool if there was a little baby in here. It's been like three minutes. There's a faint line, but it also scares me because like people are always like, oh, indent lines on the... I don't want to be happy. I'm scared to be happy. I've taken these before though and I never had a faint line. There's a faint line. There's a faint line. I want such an ugly car. I don't want to get excited and then it not be it. I hope it's not an indent. I really hope it's not. God, please let it be real. I sat and cried to Andrew last night. I was like, why would God put it on my heart so heavy to be a mom since I was little? That just scares me because like, I was on the depo shot for a year and a half and my cousin couldn't get pregnant anymore after, or she kept losing them after she took it. And I just know multiple other people that just said that they struggled and they couldn't get pregnant after the depo shot. And I was on that for that long. So it terrified me. I can't look like I'm crying when Andrew comes in. He's probably almost done cutting the yard too. So far, I've just had like cramping since like seven DPO. Almost like I'm like pre-period cramps, like I'm gonna start, but it's not. Like my period's not due for five days and I've had them since three days ago. But other than that, like nothing except for this morning, I was trying to eat yogurt and I love yogurt with a granola in it. But this morning it was making me so nauseous. I was like gagging in the car on it. And I was nauseous last night too. I remember, and I just kept thinking it was something I ate last night. That's just my symptoms so far. Could be pregnancy, could be period. I just hope that those are real. I hope that they're not in them. I guess I'll keep you guys updated. It would be such perfect timing too. We're going to see Andrew's whole family in May. And so according to my app, I would be eight and a half weeks when we're there. And like, I feel like I wouldn't want to tell anybody until at least then. But we would get to tell his whole family. Everyone's going to be there. And everyone lives all over the place. And his uncles are going to be there from California. His um, grandparents are going to be there from Utah. His dad's going to be there. His mom's going to be there. Everybody's meeting in Arizona for his sister's graduation. Both of his sisters. Mm, I could tell them they're going to be an aunt. My brother and my sister-in-law are pregnant right now too. She's just turned three months pregnant. So that would make us like two months, two and a half months apart. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll test again, maybe tonight. So yesterday I took a digital, but it was still too early. Like everything, all my lungs were still super, super faint. So it came back as not pregnant, but I want one that says pregnant to tell him. All right. All right, now we wait. I'm gonna put it back in there so I can't see it. How long am I supposed to wait? Should I just do like five minutes? How long does it say? It's on number two. Oh, we'll finish in one to three minutes. This is the longest three minutes ever. It's longer than one minute. <laughs> I feel like I could just do two minutes because it was already like halfway whenever I did it. Oh, what is oh it's on the last one. It's on the last one. Did you guys see my other ones though? You see the little line? And then on this one, don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Okay, it's done. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Just seeing it say it. God. 
like it is. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh God, please. Lord, please let this baby stay. Please let it stick and continue to grow healthy. I cannot believe that I can't. I feel like I'm in the tree or something. Like I have wanted this my entire life. When I was a little girl, I literally would make my mom buy me glass baby dolls. The ones that like looked real because I just so badly wanted to be a mom. I used to take care of my little brother when I was literally two years old. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to tell my parents and Andrew. I hope he's excited. I hope that he is. I don't know why he wouldn't be. Like I said earlier, it's not like we weren't trying, so <laughs> it's not gonna be like a shock, but it's still gonna be a shock because that's just something huge to like take in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like this isn't actually my life though. Like this isn't actually happening to me. <laughs> like I'm gonna wake up <laughs> from a dream. The other day, before the first time I tested, I had a dream that night and it was so vivid of testing and finding out I was pregnant. Okay, now to set everything up, he's at the gym. He's probably still gonna be at the gym for an hour, so I have some time. I'm gonna have to put the dogs outside when <laughs> doing this because I know they're gonna like freak out and like be barking when he comes inside. I'm gonna just like, I think I'm gonna put it on our bed and then I have like the cutest little thing. Hold on, let me show you really quick. So back when Andrew and I first like got married, like I think it was probably like two months after we got married, I knew like that I wanted to have kids like pretty soon like as long as he was okay with that too He said that he's always wanted to be a dad. So it was no question to him But of course we're like, oh, we're still so young. We're both gonna be 24 this year I know that we have like so much life ahead of us and so much time to have kids But it's just like why not spend your late 20s raising your kids? It's the most physically fit you're going to be in your life and so I'm like why not? And my parents are older, so that was a huge factor. I've wanted to be a mom forever. So I buy like the cutest little baby clothes. I got this one in the green and then I got it in tan too, probably like a year ago. So on Andrew and I's very first date, we went to Goodwill, Target, and Top Golf. But we bought this at Target and jokingly, we're like, oh, one day when we bring our baby home, this is what we'll bring him home in and I've kept it forever. I just can't believe that one day little baby's gonna be in here. I ordered this onesie so long ago and I got one for like telling my parents too and it says like hello grandma and grandpa but I got this kind of just to like announce but also to tell Andrew and then I have this cute little outfit. I know it's like a six to nine month outfit but it's just the vibes like it's just so cute. Look at that. I cannot believe this is real life. I'm gonna take that and then I guess I'm gonna take both tests and put them in here. I'm gonna put the one, maybe I'll just put the one that says pregnant and then I'll show him later. That. How freaking cute. Hi, babe. Hello. Did you leave the pups outside? Did you leave the pups outside? Whoa. Are you serious? <laughs> 